Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to my new video. My name is Jimmy and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over some basic portrait retouching in Adobe Lightroom 4. Now in this video I'm just going to be going over smoothing out the overall skin, enhancing and brightening the eyes as well as the catch lights you can see within the eyes, enhancing lips, whitening teeth and enhancing hair. Now for this specific photo you can see she's not exactly smiling so I can't see any teeth but I'm going to be going over it anyway since I know it will come in handy for a lot of people. So this is the photo I'm going to be demonstrating on and it's nothing special, it's just a random photo I took of my friend the other day when we went for a walk so it's not really my best portrait and I don't do much portrait work anyway but for when I do these are the settings I generally use. Now you can see this is the already processed image and the original can be seen here so there's not too much difference and in this tutorial I'm just going to be going over some adjustment brushes and settings for those. So let's get right into it. So we're going to select our adjustment brush up here by clicking up here or pressing K and we're going to hold the alt key and make sure we just click reset here to get it back to default. So now the first thing we're going to do is just apply an overall softener to the skin. So to do this what we're going to do is adjust our highlights value to about negative 80, our clarity to negative 25 and then our sharpness to about negative 20. So what this is going to do is it's going to take all of these harsh highlights out of her skin. It's going to drop the clarity of her skin to get rid of any of these small kind of bumps in the skin and stuff like that and just smooth everything out a lot and just pretty much make her skin tones a bit more even, make everything look a lot nicer. So once we've dialed these in, what we can go ahead and do is just rescale our brush and kind of paint over her head. And we're just going to cover all of her skin for now and just make sure we get down onto her neck and then we can even paint over her hands and fingers if you'd like and that's good enough about there we'll just go over here now i'm just doing a relatively quick job obviously uh take your time with it and you'll get a much better result so then what we can go ahead and do is press our o key uh, to bring up our mask overlay and just make sure we've covered all of the skin that we want to cover and now what we're going to do is kind of subtract it out of the spaces we don't want it so this is quite a dramatic softening effect, so we don't want it touching any important details such as eyes, hairs, or lip, or parts of the clothing here. So what we're going to do is hold our Alt key and just kind of erase it out of these areas. So you can also zoom in by pressing Z or using your navigator that will be up in the top left hand corner. And just do it a bit more precisely. And again, take your time with it and you'll get a better result. So this is all looking pretty good right there, and we'll just quickly erase over the lips and especially over the eyes we don't want anything on hair or eyes and that's really important so once we've gone ahead and erased all of the details on places uh, where we don't want it so let's just say that's fine right there and we'll just go over this hair part here uh, you can see if we press o again it'll remove our crop overlay and if we just zoom in and have a quick look at the before and after you can see it's just pretty much what i said it's softened everything up and removed some of these harsher highlights and created a more even lighting effect and everything just looks a lot nicer. So now that we've done with that, what we're going to do is press the new button up here. Again, hold Alt and click our reset option. Now we're going to enhance her eyes as well as these catch lights here. And before I go any further, I'm just going to say that these settings are loosely based on the SLR Lounge preset system. And these are all altered slightly um, to my liking. However, I didn't come up with these exactly myself. So I thought I'd just throw that out there in case someone got offended by it. And definitely check out that preset system and I might make a video on it later. So for our eyes what we're going to do is just apply an overall brightener first up. So we're going to increase our exposure by 0.25 so a quarter of a stop. And we're just going to paint over our eyes completely like so. Now what you want to make sure is you don't go too far with this effect. Now if your eyes are starting to look way too white or completely white. Or if you zoom out and your eyes are popping out way too much then you've probably gone too far. So we're going to create a new one once again and reset and now we're going to enhance these tiny catch lights you can see within the eyes. Now catch lights in the eyes really give life to a portrait I think and a lot of people say that and I think it's just a really good idea to boost them up a little bit. Again make sure you don't go too far. So I'm going to increase our exposure by half a stop, our highlights by 15 and our clarity uh, by 10. Now again I might be going a bit too far on these effects but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes so we're going to paint over just these little white parts you can see within the eyes and if we just have a look at that now you can see the portrait starting to look a bit nicer. Okay so moving on to enhancing the lips what we're going to do is again create a new one and reset it. Now we're going to enhance our lips so we're going to bring our contrast up to 10, our highlights up to 10, our clarity up to 10, saturation up to 15. So what this effect is going to do is as we apply it to the bottom lip here you can see it's just going to add a very slight shine effect to it. It's going to increase the glossiness of it and it's just going to look really nice like that. 
So that's quite a nice effect to apply. And the last thing we're going to go over is enhancing the hair on this portrait. So again, we're going to reset. Now with this one, you wanna make sure that you don't go too far because if you do, if you're viewing the picture on a screen, the hair is going to look way too sharp and it's going to start looking a bit metal and a bit too shiny. It's just gonna look weird. Um, so for our contrast, we're going to bring it up to 15. We're going to bring up our highlights to 30, our shadows to 10, our clarity to 20, and our sharpness to about 10. Now what this is going to do is it's going to bring up all of the darker parts within the hair. It's going to enhance the highlights in the hair to make them shine a bit more. It's going to increase the sharpness as well as the clarity. Uh, so now if we paint over this, you can see the effect it's going to give. Now with the split turning I've done in this portrait, you can see it's kind of turned her hair a little bit purple and I'm not a fan of that effect. So for this portrait, I might actually bring down the saturation a little bit to get rid of some of that purplish color. And that's looking pretty good right there. So that is pretty much all I would do to a portrait. Usually I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to remove important details on her face. Um, so if your model is showing teeth, we'll just reset this. Now to whiten teeth, you'll just bring up your exposure by a quarter of a stop, so 0.25, and then we want to drop our saturation, and that'll remove any kind of slight yellowness from the teeth and brighten them up a little bit, and that's a good way to get some slightly whiter looking teeth. Now what we can go ahead and do from here is grab our spot removal tool by pressing up here or pressing Q, and you want to make the selection area just big enough to fit whatever it is you're removing. You don't want to create a huge selection for some tiny detail. And from here, we just click and drag it to a similar selection point, so something like that. And then we can repeat that here. So for stray hairs like this one you see up here, I take it into Photoshop and use the clone stamp or healing brush. And uh, you can't really get rid of something like that in Lightroom too easily. It will be barely noticeable, I'm guessing. Um, so you can try if you want, but it wouldn't look nearly as good as in Photoshop. So that is pretty much it guys, that is all I usually do to my portraits until I take it into Photoshop. From there, you know, I remove stray hairs, I remove these white specks on the shirt, I can enhance the lighting, add some lens flares, um, kind of go as crazy as you want in Photoshop. So if you'd like to see stuff like that, then leave a comment down below and just let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys found this interesting or helpful at least. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you can give the video a like um, and help spread the video around and help my channel out. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.